Hello friends and today I'm going to show you how to assemble a Monty made 6283IC audio amplifier. So I faced quite a lot of problems regarding the connections of this board but I don't want you all to feel the same. So I just wanted to make this tutorial to make this very clear how to connect the wires to it and how to hook up your speakers to it. Okay. So let's start with it, let's unwrap it. So what we have got here is basically the board pretty much. Here we have got the 623 IC. Uh, now if we turn it over, we see 4 connections written over here. ST1, SP2, VC1 and VC2. Now it's clearly SP1 and SP2 stands for speaker. SP stands for speaker, speaker 1 and speaker 2 and VC stands for volume control. Now you must be wondering what volume control is. The volume control is basically the knob you use to control the volume of it. Now here we are gonna put our inputs, that is the audio inputs are gonna go through the gap. So you must be wondering that there are four inputs of four connections over here and we generally have only three connections in a stereo input. Now if you see we can clearly see that these two connections, these two connectors are connected within the board. Okay, so we just need to take a short piece of wire like this, place it on top of it and just short this too. Now these two when shorted up is gonna act as the ground or the common ground for both the right and the left inputs. Now here we are going to put the put our left input and the right one, right input or you can put it any way you want it to be because it doesn't matter anyway now you must be wondering where to put the uh, voltage inputs that is a VCC now if you turn the board over you can see a series of diodes connected over here now these diodes are connected in an arrangement called the hinge bridge arrangement now the negative of this diode is connected to the positive of this diode and the positive of this diode is connected to the negative of this diode. Now these two diodes are connected within and these two diodes are connected. So these two are interconnected and these two are interconnected but these two do not have any connection with each other. Now if you flip the board we see the same thing that these two are connected and these two are connected. Now we are going to wire or solder a wire over here and solder another wire over here. So these two wires are gonna act as the power input or the supply voltage. Now let me show you how to wire it up or solder it up. I will show you how to solder the power inputs and I suppose you can connect the rest. If you, but I will also show how to shorten this two up and connect your speakers through it. Okay, so let's start with the power line. Add a bit of solder on either of its end, both of its end, and now connect this one to this one. One and two, one of the connections. And the other end to the other connection. it's gonna be shortened up. You can see that I have connected these two because these are already connected but if you connect these two these are will be the connection will be enhanced. So you take one wire from this and connect your common ground. This one is gonna go for the left input, the right input and the speakers respectively. So when you have finished the connections of all the wires the board is gonna look something like this. Okay. 
So if you can see, I have connected the power inputs over here. So these are the power inputs. These are the speaker inputs, rather the speaker outputs. And this is the, this is the power input. Now see, I've shortened this up, connected this to the common ground to the stereo socket. This one is going for the left, and this one is for the right. So respectively, I've connected the left and right over here. Now if you uh, connect the left to this one, the left output is going to come from the speaker 1. And if you connect your right output to the PC2, the right output is going to come from the speaker 2, that is the speaker 2. And also I want to say something about the power lines. It doesn't really matter which polarity you are connecting the power lines because the diode has a H bridge arrangement and uh, the circuit is going to get the same polarity or the same power of polarity when uh, no matter how you connect your power lines to it so that is really an advantage and also you can hook it up to a step down transformer that is a 0 to 12 volt step down transformer with an AC output that is you can hook it up to an AC source with very less output that is almost 12 volt because it has diodes it will not be a major issue you can also use an AC adapter to connect but if you use an AC source or you want to use an AC source, you have to connect a step down transformer or 0 to 12 volt transformer. Okay, so let's hook it up and see how it works. Here I have the speaker connections. Here I have the speaker. It's connected. This is an aux cable or an auxiliary cable, so this is going to go 